Hi guys, so sorry I missed last week. I'll be filming two of the Nancy Drew games in advance for that. Sorry I missed last week. Things were crazy and I had a concert actually that Saturday, so you'll be having that video coming out today as well. But um, one housekeeping thing before we start, other than just the all time low video that you'll have coming out this Saturday, also I'm going to be linking down below the link to my podcast channel. My friend Tori and I finally have the first episode up, so go and watch it. Like I said, we're going to start out in video podcast form first. I will be taking the audio from those videos and uploading it onto a, um, you know, another place just for audio podcast, but that's not for a while. Also, my library has podcast studios that you can use for free. I would just have to do the training to, um, you know, be able to use those podcast studios, but then I'd be able to book time starting in October. So if we do decide to do um, video and audio, we'll be using the library. If we just decide to do video podcasting, we'll keep doing it on YouTube. But anyway, I'll put that link down below. Go ahead and watch it. We talk about things that nobody wants to talk about. So over there, come and dive into the tea with us. But on this side, and not so much celebrity drama team more like things from our own lives, but they are very serious topics. So viewer discretion is advised for some of them. Anyway, so today we're talking about Nancy Drew, the shattered medallion. This is the box and you know, this is the back. Like I show you what the box looks like. Um, yes, uh, there's a special character on the front here who has been mentioned in many past games. This is why I tell you guys, you need to play the games in order. This guy has been mentioned in many past games and he finally showed up. And of course, when the box art got released, everyone said he looked like Tyler Oakley. I see it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but anyway, so let me read you the characters, show you the characters, and then talk about my likes and dislikes. This is not one of my favorite games. The list of things I like and dislike is very short. So, you know, let's get into it. Best Marvin. Although she's not officially on Team Tui as a contestant, best friend Bess Marvin has come along to support and encourage you and George on this adventure. George Fane. Your good friend George Fane is your teammate on Pacific Run. She's sporty and competitive and is excited to share upcoming challenges as a member of Team Tui. Patrick Dawson. This former rugby star player has the athletic ability to bring his team to an easy victory, but his head just isn't in the game. Has something else brought him to compete in Pacific Rum? Sunny June. After years of following his trail, you finally get to meet Sunny June. As part of Pacific Rum's production team, he can influence the show's results. Could his quirky personality be hiding mischievous goals? Kiri Min. Neend. Neend? Neend? Team Tawaki's Kiri is a fierce competitor on this reality TV show. Off camera, she seems nice and may be willing to forge an alliance with you. Can you trust her friendly side or should you be wary of her fierce facade? Lena Patel. Lena Patel, the other member of Team Kia, is a bossy overachiever. She's smart and skilled in solving puzzles and is a stickler for the rules. If tough challenges arise, would you turn to her for extra assistance? So those are the characters that we're dealing with here. And so we have Bess Marvin, George Fain, Patrick, Sunny June, Kiri, Lena. And now my likes and dislikes. So we have a spaceship up here that we called Ed and a sheep that we called Carol. Don't know why. So letters and music, common theme. Sonny has a laughing face because Sonny is so hilarious. Like I just love his character so much. The announcer has an annoyed face because the announcer fucking pisses me off. Like that lady's voice is just so, ugh. And the way she's just so mean to Bess and it's just, I, mm. So looking around the Puzzle Palace, I love looking around the Puzzle Palace. You can play Raid and Monster and it has like an earthquake machine. It has like demonstrations of different like um, natural disasters. 
Um, games and Puzzle Palace, like I said, Raid Monster, great games. George has a smiley face because I like George. She's a good friend, she's very smart, and she's funny too. Patrick has a really big smile because I love Patrick. He's so funny and like every time he has a profound thought, he's like, write it down. That's a profound thought, write it down. It's funny. Lena has like a like neutral face like because it's like I don't hate her, but I don't really like her at the same time. Like she rubs me the wrong way. Kiri has a huge annoyed face. I hate Kiri so much. She pisses me off so much. Patrick's profound thoughts, like I said, that has a laughing face. Obviously, it's funny. That's profound thought. Write it down. It's like amazing. Bess has a laughing face because she's so sweet and she's like losing it and it's kind of funny, but you know. Sheep has hard eyes because sheep are so cute. I find sheep cute at least. Um, sudden death has an angry face and a face with question marks around it because that final, that sudden death puzzle is the reason why I hate this game. Like, if you are not good at thinking ahead, then it, it's, it's just, you can look up a video of it if you want. It's just, it's so, ugh. And then the trailer has a smiley face, so I'll show you. So there's the spaceship and the sheep and all. There you guys go. Um, also, yes, I will also be filming Labyrinth of Lies today because, you know, that's the game that I just finished last night. Um, but yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed the all-time low video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!